You see, this was actually a reaction to the description of Kaiju number 8. Today, our reaction is not going to commence. I know absolutely nothing about this, except that there are Kaijus in it. Kaijus? Yeah, just. That's it. Here is the first one. Crocodile? No? What? Oh, this is just a world that has as a normal thing. <laughs> yeah, mass casualties, I would assume. Yeah, living in such a world would not be fun. <laughs> Right. Okay. Oh, super soldiers. Looks like I'll be working overtime. Why did he give up? Why did you give up? Interesting, yeah, being devoured. Oh. Huh. Why did it turn out like what? Right, that she became that. The force soul. Huh. He became a kaiju. Right. Okay, so he becomes a kaiju. Hmm. From a kaiju bug that gets into his mouth. Is that how kaijus are normally born in that world? I don't know. I heard that this is insanely popular and cool. And it looked pretty interesting. Clearly, you know, the main character has some sort of relationship with the Supergirl soldier that was in his friend flashback. I saw that. Guess he also, I think, I interpret that he kind of works for uh, the cleanup crew after they kill the monsters. So that's where he works. The white haired friend he has, I assume, is a scientist, and the girl is obviously enough in the offensive team. And he is going to join the offense soon, uh, just, I guess, like Karen. Wow, actually, it might be very close to Attack on Titan. In the premise of the smart best friend, the super badass girlfriend, and the main character that transforms into the actual monster, huh? I guess it's a coincidence, I... Uh, yeah, but yeah, overall, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I am curious about the premise, I enjoy high fantasy, and... This maybe it's not going to be super high fantasy, but it's just giant monsters, and cleaning up the world has adapted because we saw, I think, in the traffic light something about monsters. So I guess it was giving them a warning that monsters are in that direction. I just I'm curious about the world. I really am already, just because it seems like it's a world that has had giant monsters for a long amount of time. I do wonder where they're gonna go with the fact that monsters started appearing after a certain point in human history where they've always existed alongside humanity. I think that would be interesting. Also, is it going to be the thing of all humans are monsters and that's the main character thing discovering the truth that all the monsters are humans in the past? Or is he an actual exception it's actually gonna be different from Attack on Titan? The monsters are just animals or mythical creatures that I have no idea. No clue, but it did look interesting and I've heard many awesome things about it, so I'll absolutely watch it whenever it comes out. For now, there's a new lyric in certain channel there and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.